Hello all, this video is on NVR IP camera CCTV installation using PoE power on Ethernet switch. This is Bush Plus network video recorder for IP security setups. At the back side of the NVR you can see VGA connector for connecting monitor, HDMI output for connecting TV and then WAN Ethernet connector for network and then USB uh, inputs but there are no provision for connecting cameras unlike a regular DVR which is a digital video recorder for analog security setups. This analog DVR has BNC inputs for video. It takes raw video input from camera. Uh, this DVR can handle various analog uh, signals like TVA, CVA and AHD. This is a regular analog camera which has got a BNC connector and then a DC connector. It sends raw video signal to DVR. So all processing is done inside the DVR. So DVR is costly and analog camera is cheaper. This analog camera cannot be used with NVR. You need an IP camera. This IP camera has got RJ45 connector and then a DC connector. All video processing and uh, encoding is done within this IP camera so IP camera is always costly and NVR has got no video inputs and uh, it does no video processing so NVR is always cheaper camera is costlier you need a smart switch like this which is called PoE power on Ethernet switch for connecting all the IP cameras so NVR with uh, inbuilt PoE is also available but that is for only smaller networks you need separate smart switch like this which provides power to camera as well as uh, data is also handled apart from PoE ports there are uh, two uplink ports which is of uh, gigabit uh, power which is uh, this provides no power but uh, it is used for uplink that is for connecting with other uh, PoE and then network there are 8 channels, 16 channel, 32 channel PoEs. In this demo, we will be using this 5MP camera. This is 5MP indoor camera with 3.6mm lens. All cameras are IR. That is, uh, night vision is enabled. And uh, audio is also enabled. So, unlike analog cameras, you need not provide any uh, extra circuitry for uh, audio input. Audio input is built in. These IP cameras have RJ45 connector as well as a DC connector for DC input. As we are using PoE, this DC connector is not required. As there are no video inputs in NVR, we will be using this PoE switch. Here we are using 8 channel PoE switch, power on Ethernet switch, which has got 8 ports for cameras and 2 uplink gigabit connectors for network and other device connections. Generally CAD6 cable is used for wiring, pre-made cable is available but you can crimp yours according to the length required. Generally B type straight connection is preferred. This is called 568B connection where a same color coding of 8 wires at both ends. So let us plug the Ethernet cables from IP cameras to PoE ports. First port to first camera and then second port to second camera. For demo we are using only two cameras. No power connection is required for camera as power is provided through RJ45 cable itself from PoE. In the NVR there is a WAN Ethernet port. Let us connect it to the router which provides network and internet. On PoE switch uh, there are two uplink ports available. Connect one uplink port to the same router where NVR is connected. So both PoE and uh, NVR to be connected to the same network that is the same router let us connect the uplink rg45 to the same router where nvr is connected the poe port of switch is meant for only the cameras it cannot handle high bandwidth that is why they have provided a separate uplink connector for handling gigabit uh, bandwidth the poe is generally ac powered and uh, nvr is dc powered let us review the connection once again. All cameras, that is IP cameras, are connected to the PoE ports of this PoE switch. And then the uplink of PoE 
is connected to the network router as the uplink connector can handle gigabit uh, bandwidth it is connected to the router do not connect PoE port to router and then the van of the NVR is connected to the same network router so this is for a single PoE connection suppose the network is large you can use a second PoE switch so that cabling becomes much easier for example uh, in a building first floor you need eight more cameras then use a separate PoE switch to connect the cameras in that area so this separate PoE switch 2 is in the first floor you connect all the cameras in the first floor to the PoE switch second PoE switch and then connect the uplink of the PoE 2 to the uplink of PoE 1 so only a single cable is required from first floor to ground floor the at the ground ground floor this PoE 1 is available and then the NVR is also available which is connected to the same network and the router this is how to connect the uh, two POEs so cabling will be much easier this is a 16 channel uh, uh, POE switch and uh, 8 channel POE switch for demo we are just showing this uh, 16 channel which is uh, placed in the first floor of the building where all the cameras are connected and then the uplink of the first POE is connected to the uplink of the second POE and then the first POE's uh, uh, uplink is also connected to the network router so this is how to connect two POE's to make cabling much simpler at the back side of the NVR you can see a VGA connector to connect to a monitor and then a HD out let us connect a HDMI cable to an LED TV which has got HDMI input you can also use a monitor with VGA input and then uh, you connect the DC input and you can also connect a mouse all cameras is, uh, are connected to the PoE switch as already uh, described and the uplink of the PoE switch is connected to the router and NVR is also connected to the same router now let us switch on the NVR it says uh, no available storage as we are not connected the hard disk let us open the NVR switch off and then open the NVR this NVR has got a simple circuit as all processing is done by the IP camera itself the NVR board is very simple uh, HDD hard disk always use purple hard disk 1 TB up to 4 TB is supported that is a HDD power connector and then SATA connector connect the uh, power connector first and then the SATA connector and then fix the hard disk using the screws provided and then close the casing and boot up again now right click and then go to main menu under main menu there is a green bar which is uh, date time first set the date time uh, uh, now it is uh, our area is uh, UTC plus 5.30 so I am selecting that and then setting the time next is the system display under the display you can see it supports up to 4k resolution default is uh, 1920 by 1080 which is HD resolution if you're using high 4k resolution then you need a monitor or a TV with which supports that resolution next go to system and then account and then provide a strong password as it is a network uh, video recorder you need a very strong uh, password to uh, for safety purpose and uh, finally under the advanced uh, tab you click on HDD info here you can format the hard disk as soon as you connect the hard disk you have to format it first and then under advanced digital you can set up the IP uh, address of the cameras that we will see later here you can see the uh, cameras connected also which are all cameras connected we have connected only two cameras 
Next main thing is to set the IP address of NVR and IP cameras. For that you have to find out the gateway of the network. For this you can use your Android mobile which is connected to the same network as the NVR. Go to Wi-Fi connection, select the uh, name of uh, the SSID and then click on advanced scroll down you can see the IP address and gateway IP address here you can see gateway is 192.168.1.1 and then the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 so that means the last octet only is varies you can see my phone's IP address is uh, 192.168.1.2 only the last octet changes now right click on the main screen and then main menu go to network here you can see DHCP is enabled DHCP is responsible for auto IP that is uh, dynamic host configuration protocol you disable that as we are going to set up the IP manually now provide the IP as 192.168.1.100 you can give any number up to 255 this is the IP address of our NVR this is set up from uh, the main menu network now right click again on the main screen and then select channel set under this uh, click on search to find out the cameras connected it will search and uh, it will list out the cameras already i have set the ip address of the cameras first uh, camera ip is 192.168.1.150 next camera is 151 like this up to 16 cameras we can connect as we are having uh, two eight, uh, eight channel POEs only six. Uh, this NVR is 16 channel like this. You set one by one the IP address of the cameras and finally click on add so that these cameras are added to the network. This is very important. And then for a mobile app, you go to advanced and then click on ver version. Here you can see the serial number and a QR code using your android mobile scan the qr code you will be taken up to the xmi uh, installation that is xmi is the application you are going to use so install that and then open the application touch on local at the left bottom left corner uh, there is a local button touch on that and then touch on add device plus symbol select nvr there is a serial number and IP select the serial number tab and against the serial number there is a again a QR code scanning scan the QR code again your serial number will be automatically taken into the application along with your password whichever password you have provided automatically it will be read through the QR code now open the uh, device you can see the cameras connected touch on the camera to view through mobile from anywhere in the from the world thank you for watching